Firefighters can often feel the effects of strenuous days on the job. Two University of Kentucky graduate students are doing what they can to help local firefighters feel a little better and stay prepared to answer those calls. Josh Short reports. Captain Nick Bodkin has gotten to know Jake Gelmini and Jen Tinsley quite well. Both of them are in the Rehabilitation and Health Sciences Department at UK as PhD students and are getting hands-on experience making sure firefighters like Bodkin are staying healthy. I came in with quite a few little issues that have accumulated over 16 years on the fire service, uh, just beat and bang from, from the job and uh, getting in here and helping work through some of those issues and getting better, not just recovering from them, but actually getting stronger to avoid pre uh, future issues has, has been great. The two use their backgrounds in traditional athletic training to serve those who serve the community. You get to know every, fire, every firefighter on a very personal level. And I think that's one of the cool things, too, because you see them out in the community, you run into them, and it's, it's just, you're good friends with them. I grew up in kind of a, an environment that dealt with a lot of first responders. My mom was uh, a paramedic. I was an EMT for a while, and then I married into a police family. So it, it hits close to home for me. The firefighters will jump into a wide variety of exercises that address everything from aches and pains to more complex ailments. And a lot of our options here with our athletic training services is to try to attend to those so that it doesn't become potentially something more acute or something that could be very impactful and detrimental both of its physical nature but also to the department as a whole. You know, I loved what I did when I was in traditional athletics and serving in a traditional athletic training role and this just kind of adds the cherry on top for me personally because it hits so close to homes. In Lexington, Josh Short, Fox 56 News.